out on a different lake this time in the Tirangi region, Lake Otamendikau. We're up here in search of a massive rainbow or brown. I'm not too bothered about numbers of fish because this lake is very difficult. The goal is one fish, fish the morning, then we're heading home back to Hawke's Bay. Hopefully as we get on towards about 12 p.m. we get a bit of a sheen on the water and I'll just make it much much easier to get a fish on. What I've experienced, one in three fish you land so the goal is really to hook three fish and land one over three. So really, we're out here, we'll see what happens. Me. So we've hooked our first fish for the day. It was probably about an eight pound rainbow and I hooked it right next to the weed bed. I went clean in there and right in and then my kayak got dragged along. There was too much pressure on the line and it gave way. <sighs> Using a kayak in this place is like not the most ideal thing because the fish will pull you around. So it's all a bit messed up. Oh my god, more damsels. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So I'm going over to another spot now through the wee bed. And you can probably see all the bloody damsels that are out here at the moment. <laughs> There's like a hundred million of them out here. Right, well we've hooked up to a fish on this little weed bed. It's not a huge one, I don't think. We just gotta maneuver him around and well hopefully land him. We'll see what he does. He's not gonna like this. This is going to be a huge pain in the ass if I do. Back in here. There's another one. Guy's woken up now. What happened there? I 
sure what was going on there. He's pretty calm, for whatever reason. We're only on six pound line and my kayak is going to tow me straight into this weed bed and the fish with it. And he's off. This is just a wasted Okay, he's a bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> if he's that size, what is that other fish? I've had to resort to the shoreline to get my fish and well after a big battle in the weeds we've got one <laughs> that is a big rainbow that is a big rainbow look at the size of that thing size that thing. I give seven pound a nudge I think. Three point eight, so he's just over three kilos. There he goes. Mint. Let's try and get one of these big boys. Yep. 
face. I feel I can get him in quick. Nice brown though. Turn, kayak, turn! Turn! Turn, he's still on there. Oh. Yeah. Get the pressure on. On there, I think. Yeah, he's still there. He's out in the middle. See if I can tow him in out of this. Out of this crap. Lead for me, buddy, lead. No, 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 no. Oh, he's coming in with me. Somewhat. I need to get into the shore. What a f pain in the ass. Come on. One handed paddling. Well, I've got. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, fish. There's another one in there that I'm going to catch too. Oh. How I've done that, I don't know. He swam out of the hole. I've somehow one-handed paddled my way out of shit. I don't know how I managed it, but I did. Right, let's get this fish in. He's a big fish. out number two that makes it my best day ever one brown one rainbow maybe I can grab another one there's a few more fish hanging around these ledges and I think if I can pop a little nymph in I'm, I'll be able to actually catch them this one's a nice big long in lovely fish big long fish has some condition to put on though 
All right, let's get this big girl on her way. Try and get a massive one. I want to get one big one before I go. But we're already well past what I was hoping for today. Look at the length in the fish. All right, go back to feeding, and I am going to go look along this weed bed for more. Here's a fish. I'm gonna plop it in front of his nose. Turn. Turn the other way. Big fish on. Probably another seven, I think. We've just got them on this big flat. It's actually a lovely place to fight a fish. There's a bunch of fish over here. And they've been going past. Well, we had a flat battery rob us of a brilliant fight out of this huge fish. Huge for me, not for the lake. This is a pretty good one though. Let me get the scales out because it could be my biggest rainbow ever if it's over eight. Right, zero. Four point two in the net. What's that? Four point two, three and a half kilos, that one. I'll have to do the, the calculations later. But now it's time to grab our photos and we'll send her on her way. Go for it, take a photo. Right, this fish is about three and a half kilos. <laughs> so that'll work out, oh. I think 3.6 is 8, so just under 8. But yeah, I, yeah, that'll be my biggest fish. Biggest rainbow I've ever caught, easily. Look at the size of it. Horse. About the size of the brown I caught, actually. We're just going to give her a little bit because um, there was a fair bit of fight in her. We'll get her a bit deeper. Go. Go. Ah, it's all over. I was beyond disappointed that I couldn't let this big hen go. I'd tried my best to keep her in the water to get the picture that I wanted. A range of factors like the shallow water being too warm, the fish fighting for an extended length of time, and my inexperience with fighting a large fish on just six pound leader caused it to be unfit for release. I then iced down this big fish where I took it home and smoked it. And it was actually pretty bloody good eating for a fish out of a lake like this. So it's time to go now. We're coming past fish still on this flat, there's a heap of them here. I was only here till early afternoon. We've well and truly got the monkey off the back. It's another fish to roll, oh, big fish. Another one about the old two fish. Yeah, not much surface activity, it's all subsurface. Two on the chronomid imitation that I tied up, 16. Right, let's make our paddle back to the ramp and I'll see you all next time with another video.